All right, today's service call is condensation piling up inside of reaching meat case. Um, high dew point, most likely, but let's dig into it. All right, so we got a service call. Uh, had a lot of condensation, some of the cases. Um, high dew point. Uh, So far, that's not running. Let's check the other stages. Tandem scrolls. That one is running. That one is running. This is stage one. This is stage, wait, stage one, two, three, four. So this is stage three. Um, so far, stage two is not running. All right, so I just put my gauges on. And um, as you can see, we had 213 PSI. This unit should be running. Um, we have a solenoid in there. And um, when it energizes, open up, allow the free iron to come through. Suction pressure rises. And um, close the low pressure switch and the unit turns on. All right, so this is a Daikin unit. AC number one. Uh, uh oh, it's a good thing. Let's check our breakers. Uh, right here, two and four. Neither is tripped. So uh, let's pull out my meter, man. Let's dig into it. Check my board. So here's my board up there, um, cool tool, my LED is lit. So that switch should be closed. Uh, I'm just gonna grab a meter and um, just basically gonna check these two terminals right there. And um, right here, I just need to make sure that they're closed. Um, that's normally open, so. All right, so I just brought out my meter. And I'm basically checking out this switch, this little cool two, stage two. And um, as you look, our switch is closed. We got 20 volts, a little bit of voltage drop, but not enough. Um, normally this is probably a 208 control circuit, but um, this here is closed. All right, so let me just check out my schematic and uh, this is one, two, three, four. So it's output number four. And um, output number four here. So we have voltage. Switch is closed. Um, come over here. Then we energize our solenoid. And um, that opens in, you know, allow the free on the flow and then the low pressure switch is supposed to close so we don't need to look here we need to go up here time delay 2 um, M2 that's my contact the coil uh, so I need to check my low pressure switch to just turn off um, voltage. I'm gonna check my low pressure switch out right quick. Just checking out my low pressure switch right here. That's my low pressure switch hooked up to the circuit on the suction line and uh, got my meter all set up. And basically what I just did is I took this pressure control loose and uh, put my alligator clips, one here, one here. And um, if, if we have enough pressure in here, 
this switch should be closed and uh, right now we should be reading continuity uh, let's just check it out as you see 212 psi and let's look at our low pressure control uh, 60 uh, 105 so this switch should be close as you can see it's not uh, 212 uh, I'm gonna jump this out right fast see if the compressor turns on all right so my compressor is now running as you can see my low pressure switch is still jumped out here's my little wire nut right here uh, right there so uh Check it out. All my headbands are running. I got my new low pressure control right here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this thing installed. Man. All right, so this here is a factory low pressure control. Um, this new one right here is aftermarket. Uh, if I wanted that one, that one has to come strictly from the factory. All right, let's just pray I don't lose all my Freon. Oh! It has a Schrader in there, so you're not gonna blow your charge. Also, that was a little depressor in the inside of this little um, pressure switch. Just put it down, it will push it down. And uh, nice, easy repair, man. Quick and convenient. Oh. Get my 916. Uh -huh. Tighten that up a little bit. I guess I should have used nylog. Choking. Alright, so I got my low pressure switch installed. Got it all wired up. Uh, it's not going to fit back nice and tight like the other one. But what I normally do is I cut the wires a little bit short. I'm going to push the wire nuts inside of here. Got my wire nuts tucked inside. Gonna take this up and um, secure this whip. All right, so I got my cover plates on. I got my electrical whip over there. Secure it. Hack job, whatever you wanna call it. But, uh, let's flip this big boy on. Now we got a five minute delay. All right, so the unit just came on. I'm gonna go down, check the E2. All right, so our temp's dropping. And uh, right now it says heat off. And that's mainly due to the heat reclaim is not running. Once we get down to 72 degrees, this will kick on and then we'll start drying out the air even more. And as you can see, we just dropped another um, degree, dew point, 58 now.